Today is Tuesday the 8th uh, of December and uh, negotiations continue behind um, the scenes by the ministers in consultation. These are not negotiating on text but trying to find common ground. Uh, ministers have been charged to do this and they continue to do that uh, as we speak. Uh, I'm going to talk about an initiative that started here on Monday the 30th of November under the presidency of President Aquino of the Philippines, who is the current chair of the Climate Vulnerable Group. They had a big meeting uh, with many leaders of the Climate Vulnerable Group with one demand for a 1.5 degree uh, temperature goal. Uh, I'm very pleased to say that we started off with 43 countries, then we had 105 countries from the LDCs, Africa and small island states supporting it. And now we are well up to 126 plus countries, including some developed countries as well supporting the one and a half degree goal and the momentum is on our side we also had a civil society uh, action on this we're getting tremendous support from civil society for this one and a half degree goal and um, i'm fairly certain that we should be able to get it into the text on uh, on friday when we end however in exchange for this there will be some horse trading and we may have to give on others we are trying to hold the line that the mitigation target in order to get a one and a half degree goal has to be stringent enough to get the goal. So we don't want the goal to be symbolic, we want it to be reality. And for that to be the case, uh, we need stringent decarbonization within a 2050 time frame, which is still tough uh, to get. And particularly large developing countries like India and China, who still want to have the room to burn fossil fuels for a while, are reluctant to sign up uh, to a fast pace of decarbonization, which is what a one and a half degree goal means. And so it's very much between the users of fossil fuels, the sellers of fossil fuel, like Saudi Arabia and the oil states, uh, who are opposing having a one and a half degree goal because it will affect their business, it will affect their economies, and it will affect their, their perception of the way forward. However, the Climate Vulnerable Forum is extremely uh, united. It the uh, Philippines is handing over next year to Ethiopia. They have taken up the challenge of chairing the group. And even though in the UNFCC, the group has a one uh, agenda item, which is the one and a half degree long-term goal, they also have quite a few other activities planned in a three-year rolling plan uh, that was agreed in Manila a few weeks ago. And so once we go back from Paris, there will be a lot of South-South exchange support for, for each other amongst the vulnerable countries group, so that instead of just being known for their vulnerability, they will be known for proactively tackling the issue of climate change.